Hey guys, it's monthly favorites time. I don't have any fails, but I do have a freebie. But I'll just start off with the faves and I'll just reach into my pile of stuff that I have here and see what we start with. And it's these. Now, a couple months ago, in my favorites, I featured big fat smoothie straws, which I got at the warehouse. They were just like regular plastic straws. And in that video, I said, it's so annoying to me that you can't get stainless steel straws that are big and fat. You can only get like the regular size stainless steel straws. And a couple of people, or quite a few people, left comments or messaged me saying, Cali Woods has the fat straws. But being a cheapskate, I was determined to find it for less than what Cali Woods is charging. So I went on AliExpress and I did a search for smoothie straws and found some stainless steel smoothie straws. And they did have the measurement of the diameter. And I looked on my ruler and I couldn't really tell if they were fatter than regular straws or not, but I bought them because they were super inexpensive. And when they arrived, they were not smoothie straws. It's just like regular straws. Um, so that could be a fail for the month. So since we use smoothie straws pretty much every evening, I decided to just buy the Cali Woods ones. And they're not that expensive. They were under, I think it worked out to be just over $20 for a pack of four of the straws plus a little cleaning brush and the shipping. Um, but this is what they look like. Here's two of them. Um, and just in comparison, wow, that's bright. Let me just turn this down. So there you go. Big fat smoothie straws. This is what a regular straw looks like, like a regular size. So if I do that, you can see how fat they are. And they are super awesome and I love them. They were worth every penny. I mean, even the AliExpress ones, one of them was like slightly bent on the end. Like you can tell it's just better quality. It has the kind of, you know, a nod to the bendy straw thing. I mean, they obviously don't bend, but they have these little lines here. And then the Cali Woods logo, which I don't know if you can see there. They are amazing. I love them. And I just kind of... When we finish our smoothies, I immediately just go and rinse it under the tap so that the inside's rinsed out and nothing kind of dries on in there. And then we just throw them in the dishwasher. I haven't needed to use the little brush, but amazing. Thank you so much for the recommendations. I love them. The next thing I want to talk about, let me grab into my pile, oh, is this. It is a little tiny mini tripod. I've wanted one for ages and I found this on sale and I just bit the bullet. They normally are, I think, $44 but I got mine for $27 it's the Manfrotto which is the same brand as my tripod it's like an excellent tripod brand and it's just this tiny little grip if you want to use your camera like that or tripod and it is so super sturdy plus what I love about it is it doesn't have a separate plate that you put into the camera you just screw this straight onto the camera and then when it's on the table or wherever you want to put it you just press this button you angle this ball head any direction you want and you release and it is locked tight it is so easy to use so convenient and i highly recommend it i'm so glad i eventually just got one and i end up using it all the time so a great buy worth every penny even at full price highly recommend as always i will link everything down below okay next oh let's go my friend is a Tupperware consultant and she gave me the scoop. It's like, it can stand and you can use it for cereal or whatever. It's looking a bit grubby because what I actually ended up using it for is my um, seed starter mix in the greenhouse. I bought a container from Kmart, like a plastic container with a lid that holds 15 liters, which is how much a bag of the seed starting mix, well, the bigger bag that I buy. I just put that in, I can put the lid on, and I found this so handy when I've got my seed starting soil mix in the container. I put the seeds on and then I just want to sprinkle on a light layer of the seed raising mix on top of it. Perfect. I can just scoop it and then just kind of do this and sprinkle over the top. I'm not having to get in there with my hands. I'm not having to faff around with a sifter. And it's easy to direct it. It's easy to scoop. You know, it's kind of easy to handle even with my gloves on. And it's amazing. So I don't know that I would use it in the house, maybe for something like oats or I don't know, flour or whatever. I tend to use my measuring cups, but in my greenhouse, this has been amazing and I love it. Next up is something that a viewer sent to me. So this is from Lizzie and I love it. She actually sent me this and a replacement or like a backup of my little mini 
Pampered Chef spatulas and I have two of those which is amazing but I hadn't actually tried this before I have featured my spatula in the favorites before I think anyway you've heard me talk about it but I wanted to talk about this one it is a Betty Crocker scraper like flexible silicon scraper but like this end is so super handy for getting into jars it's got a nice long handle it's very sturdy you can throw it in the dishwasher or at least I do um, and you can really get into the bottom and into the corners of jars and this is also curved so if you're going like along the sides of a bowl which is curved super cool so thank you so much for sending me that I love it Next up is another Esano Rose Hip product. I've talked about this brand before. I have featured their Queen Cleanser before. Did I talk about any of the other products? Oh, that's right. I've tried their moisturizer. They like day moisturizer and it comes in a pump bottle and I've talked about how annoying I find that because so much product gets wasted. That's right. I talked about it in an empties video. Okay, I'll link that here if I can find the video. So the day moisturizer was fine. It was just a moisturizer. I put it on, it soaked in, it was fine. It didn't feel very, very special or nourishing or anything. It just did the job. But I tried this one, which as you can see is the night cream or night, yeah, moisture restorative night cream. And it claims no parabens, harsh chemicals, sulfates, silicones, phthalates. Does anyone know how to say that? Or exo ethosylates okay whatever so it claims it no bad stuff I love the packaging I love that it comes in a pot and it's a glass pot you know how I feel about that I just want to get in there with my fingers and get every last drop out and it has a very light fresh scent reminiscent of rose it's not like a typical rose scent I mean it's rose hip so that would make sense the texture I mean you're not gonna be able to tell but the texture is exactly what I want in a moisturizer. It's thick, kind of like, it's thick, but it's, how do I describe this? It's thick, but it's, I have to say the word moist. Um, it's just lovely, but it kind of just immediately melts straight into your skin and sinks in it doesn't like some moisturizers you rub on and you feel like you have to rub to get it in or it leaves like a white residue this just goes straight in it is so nourishing and moisturizing it actually reminds me of the B Nigma cream that I tried which is $120 a pot this is not this is I don't know what it normally retails for but countdown often has it on sale and I buy it then and on sale I kind of want to say $15, certainly not more than $20, maybe it's $20 actually, $19.99 on sale, but I just picked up when it's on sale. Um, I've got Grant using it and I think Daniel's going to start using it as well because he has really dry skin, so does Grant. It's gorgeous. I don't have particularly dry skin. I get a dry patch there actually. My skin is pretty balanced, but I just love how this makes my skin feel. My skin feels like velvet when I'm using this. I wash my face at night, I put this on. I don't put any products on my face in the morning. I literally just wash the sleep out of my eyes because I find the less I do to my skin, the happier it is. But honestly, like I say, I put it on at night and throughout the next day, my skin just feels like velvet. It just feels balanced and happy and I love it. So highly recommend that. I won't use the day moisturizer again, but I will definitely keep repurchasing this. Okay, I have a few favorites that I can't show you that I want to talk about and then I'll move on to my freebie. The next favorite I want to talk about is my hallway makeover. I love it. It was so worth every minute of work that I put into it and it was a lot of work. I love my plank wall and I love how everything's come together. It makes me so happy and because it's kind of central to the house, the entrance and then the back like corridor, it just feels like the house is more done and it kind of ties the rooms together that I have decorated. If you haven't seen it, I will link it here. I am super proud of it and it just makes me happy every day. So that was definitely a favorite for the month of September. Okay, three YouTube channels. Now I've been reading blogs for years. I've had my own blog for 10 years and I have found lately I just don't read blogs anymore. I read them through a feed reader called Feedly, but I just... I used to check it daily, like multiple times a day, and now I find like weeks will go by and I haven't checked Feedly and I've 
kind of unfollowed more and more blogs. I don't know, does anyone else feel that way, that things are just moving away from blogs and more towards videos? Anyway, that's, that's where my interest has been going. And I don't know why, but to me, like interiors and home decorating and that has always been a blog thing. Like I want to look at the pictures, I want to be able to pin them. And it never occurred to me to look for that sort of thing on YouTube. I don't know why. But in September, the penny dropped and I was like, I can look for this sort of thing on YouTube. And I found a few channels that I really enjoy and the kind of decorating style is so up my street. So I wanted to tell you guys about them. And one of them is At Home with Natalie. She is a mama of little kids. She's pregnant with baby number five. I think her husband is a pastor. And I just love her style. Her home tour is amazing. Just beautiful and kind of that farmhouse chic, but not cluttered, very comfortable and welcoming. And I just love it. So I'll link everything down below, including these channels that I'm talking about. Go and check her out if you want to leave her a comment and say you came from here. I've just so been enjoying her videos and kind of looking through her decorating things that she has to share. I believe she has a blog as well, but like I said, I'm just not into blogs anymore, but I've enjoyed her videos. The second channel I wanna talk about is Robin Johnson. Again, she just has the most beautiful style in her home, very welcoming and cozy and comfortable. She has such a talent for styling shelves. Like she has um, like an open dresser that she will style the shelves for the different seasons. and. She will pull knickknacks and just put them up and they look amazing, perfectly balanced and beautifully styled and I just love the things that she does. She also does kind of craft tutorials, so definitely go and check out her channel, tell her I said hi. I just love what she does. She decorates seasonally, so she'll do like a spring living room or autumn living room or whatever and you guys know how I feel about that. I do like a bit of seasonal decorating, but it's not kind of like over the top with like autumn throughout all over your house. Just beautiful style. Go check out her videos and I hope you enjoy them. And then the last YouTube channel I want to talk about is called The Daily DIYer and it's exactly what it sounds like. She does DIY projects and shares how to do them like tutorials and she also has this beautiful farmhouse chic um, decorating style. Her tutorials are easy to follow like even if it's something I'm not that interested in making I will still watch it and enjoy the video. So go and check them out see if you want to make anything that she makes or if you just feel as inspired as I do when I watch her videos. Right those are all of my favorites. Well the next thing is a freebie but it is also a favorite. I, I want to stress that I absolutely love them I've been enjoying them and it's definitely a favorite but I did want to disclaim that they were sent to me for free. Not paid to talk about them that's as far as it went and they are Fermu sunglasses. You guys have heard me talk about Fermu before. They first approached me the first time I heard of Fermu was probably around eight years ago when they contacted me and said, do you want a free pair of sunglasses to talk about on your blog? And I was like, yes, or a free pair of glasses. And I chose sunglasses and here they are. Um, I have done a video on Fermu before, fairly recently actually, where they offered me a free pair of glasses, which are the glasses that Daniel wears. He loves them. He got them as a backup pair, but he actually ended up just using them as his main pair because he really enjoyed them. So I've shared my Fermi story before, but this is the first pair of sunglasses that they sent me. I like that it's kind of, it's a graduated tint, so they're not like super dark, so they're nice for like an um, overcast day that has some glare, maybe not for the brightest sunny day. They have these adorable little bows on the side, and just the attention to detail, like, you know, how cute is that? So I still have these and I still wear them, not all the time because like I said, it's not for the brightest sunny day, this particular style, um, but I do enjoy them. And then when I needed a pair of glasses, I ordered them from Fermu. I went to have my eyes tested and I needed a pair of glasses and the glasses were gonna be like over $200. And I was like, thank you very much. Please print my prescription for me. And I remembered Fermu and I went and ordered them. So these were not sent to me. These are the glasses that I wear for driving at night or watching TV or if I'm doing anything kind of distance related. Um, I paid for them with my own money and I love them. These are mine. They fit perfectly and they work perfectly. So 
I'm actually due for another eye test and if I need a new pair of glasses I will do exactly the same and go and order them off Fumu. But getting to the point, they contacted me again, said do you want another pair of glasses and none of us needed glasses at the time. So I did say yes please um, and went on and ordered myself some sunglasses and you would have seen them in the vlogs. They are these and I kind of love them. I love this detail, I love that the gold is like a muted gold, it's not like in your face yellow gold because I'm not really a gold person. It's got the little metallic detail on the side. Um, they are so, so comfortable. I put them on, they're just lightweight, they don't like squeeze your head. They are so comfortable. So I've really, really been enjoying these. I highly recommend Fumu. You can do like a virtual try on. You can upload a picture of yourself and then like try on the style. And they do provide all measurements. So you can be sure that the frames aren't going to be too wide or narrow for your face. One of the things I really enjoy about this is it fits in a regular case. Like how much more convenient is that to pop into your handbag than that? which is what the other pair that I have fits in. So it comes in a case, it has like a polishing cloth in there, and it also has a mini kit with a screwdriver and spare screws. Like you can get the screwdriver kits to mend your glasses or your sunglasses, but how often do they include the screws? And if your glasses or sunglasses come apart in the screw, chances are you're gonna lose that screw. So I really appreciate that. Now, if you wanted to buy this pair and like pay for it out of your own money, it was 9.99 US dollars so inexpensive it's excellent quality i really enjoy them but dun, 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 if you order now i have a code down below for you you can buy a pair of glasses or sunglasses you can get prescription sunglasses whatever and get a second pair for free that includes shipping and the frame and standard lenses so you will pay for like um you know the anti-glare coating or the the new coating that they do to make your eyes more comfortable when you're looking at screens but the glasses are free. So highly recommend them. Like I say, that's where I order my glasses from now and why not get a backup pair for free or order yourself a pair of glasses and get a pair of sunglasses free. Pretty sure you can order a different pair than the first one. I don't think they both have to be identical. I could be wrong though. Link down below, go and check it out. Highly recommend them, super affordable, excellent quality and like why not get a free pair of glasses. Thank you Fermu for sending me these sunglasses. I love them. Okay. That is everything for this month. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think of them, or if there's something that you think that I must try out based on the things that I enjoy. Have you ever used Fermu? Let me know if you have and what you thought of them. Like I said, I'm a convert. Happy when they send me free glasses, but happy to buy them when they don't. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.